AMD fans, what is going down? My name is Matthew with the Mega Ever 7 channel. Today we're going to be looking at the new Adrenaline software of the 21. And well, on the second month in February, we're going to be getting the new driver. 21.2.1 comes to us live. We'll be looking at the Adrenaline Edition and seeing what that actually does, even though it does have the time mark of 2020. And that's why I kind of paused on the 21 earlier. We'll still be seeing what they changed in the release notes and be looking at some benchmarks until we get our official Adrenaline 2021. And I know a lot of my community members are like, I'm not really seeing the difference. It just seems like certain stability in certain games and fixing up some patchwork. It's just taking a really long time. So hopefully they can hit our own run. But let's go ahead and take a look at what's changed. Jumping straight into where the patch notes, we can see that the medium up to 9% in performance in the medium 4K inside the settings with the Radiant software within the 20.2.1. 16 gigs on the Radeon 6800 XT graphics and that you're going to see versus the 21.1.1. Now our fixed issue list before we get to the known is the display flicker and that comes down to the corruption that may be experienced when two display screens are connected to the Radeon RX Vega series. The graphics productions at the least one display in the refresh rate that is higher. So if you have a dissimilar refresh rates, you're basically going to have some issues. On top of that, some flickering screens come into it when utilizing MSI in the afterburner. Try a DDU, and that always helps. I'll have that link down below in the video at the very end, so you can always learn how to do that if you've never done that or curious of what that is. Looking on past that for as far as the recording and streaming features that they have may fail to enable the Radeon HD7. 800 series I, I say that with just like a real regret just because it's like that it just don't use their software for streaming or recording use obs or something else like there's so many other programs they'll get it eventually but this is just not their home run or a year apparently um, some of the models that may fail uh, to render within rendering incorrect for as far as that is the rdna graphics production so you're going to see also that the crg9 and the series displays may experience some of the black screens when waking from the sleep mode and metro's exodus comes into some experienced intermittent application crashes within the rexx when enabling some ray tracing so so those pixels of sun are going to destroy you. On top of that, the videos inside the playback on the secondary display may experience shuddering when playing Doom Eternal on the primary display. So let's go ahead and slide down what's going to happen to the known issues, since now we know that the fixed issues are above. You can see that Hitman 3 is still experiencing some crashes with inside of that for as far as Apex Predators and also on top of that with the 6000 series of it. So that's a crazy mix up inside of there. On top of that, you also have the free syncs that may fail when enabling inside of Forza Horizon for as far as that. And you have AMD is currently investigating a whole bunch of stuff that's going on with their CPU experience and utilizing the system and blah, 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 some bugs in software. I don't know why they put that. That's kind of confusing. Besides that, the brightness and the flickering and the intermediate occurs when some games and applications on the radio and FreeSync. Yet again, seems like if you disable that, you may have some nice workarounds for as far as what's been boldly said in full screen mode before in the past. Now, the enhanced sync that may happen to have a black screen to occur when enabling some games inside of the system and the configuration that always is freaking there for something, you can also, again, disable that with the free sync and work around on top of that. So, moving on past that, now this one's pretty hilarious. As we get to benchmarks right over here, you can see that. Well, with DirectX 12 and looking in our 4K department, we actually do see a decent tie with the newer driver on the right and hardware accelerator on on the top. You can see the newer driver over here. The left is the older driver lined up between the hardware accelerators off. They tie hardware accelerators on it improves. Now, again, at percentile wise, you can see that they definitely stick around 66. This is just genuinely hilarious. We go down to 1080p, and what do we see? Almost a crossfire situation going on here. We see some pretty good improvements with our newer driver. Definitely hardware accelerator on and off. We can definitely see a nice 76, which goes down to the portion when you fall back over to the 76 rating in the older driver. But you do see that there's a one point improvement. One point improvement with the hardware accelerator off. It's strange. Hardware accelerator off. It's just like 
Windows doesn't know what to call their stuff. Why don't they just say hardware accelerator on is off and off is on. But I mean, what's the common sense in that, right? It's just a Windows update, right? I and mean, this is just insane. I mean, look, look at it. The old driver hardware accelerator on, just killing it. There's a bat out of hell right over there. Look at that. Line them up like ducks. Uh, but looking at past that situation, besides hot water in the 74 percentile where not a lot is changing, it just seems like stability fixes. Kind of. Now bringing the heat down from DirectX 11 and coming down to a nice 1080p format from 4K, we can see that 83 percentiles are lined up across the board. But the winning driver now is actually the new driver with hardware accelerator off. So... If you are gaming and want a tiny edge inside of there where you're utilizing some settings, you're definitely going to want to go there. But what is the bread and butter? Now, the 91 percentile is throwing that around here, but the newer driver with the hardware accelerator off does pull off some pretty cool stuff compared to the hardware accelerator on, which we had our middle pop where we were like, Windows, what's going on? But... If you're new to the network, you can always like, share, and subscribe for AMD-related news and stuff that does change throughout the ecosystem of Windows. If you are experiencing some issues, you can definitely hit a DDU, one of the screens that will pop up above, and another one that, well, YouTube thinks that you should totally check out. You should watch them and leave a comment and see which one you thought YouTube picked for you. But on top of that situation, on that, I will leave you guys and gals to say have a very nice day stay lucky out there and i will see you in the near future for more tech related news